This is corrugated stainless steel tube, also known as CSST, and specifically the one I'm holding today is a Megaflex track pipe. And it's an excellent alternative to traditional copper or steel gas pipe. But what makes this product so unique? If you didn't know already, it's super flexible. And that means it can be shaped by hand. And because it can be shaped by hand, it means it can be installed continuously with need for minimal fittings. We're going to take a look at the correct way to cut corrugated stainless steel tubing. It's super easy and I'm going to show you how. Firstly, ensure you use a proper CSST cutter like the one I've got here. And you can see that it's got smooth rollers and that means it won't get stuck in any corrugations in the CSST. It also comes with a large cutting wheel and the one that I've got today is made by NERAD Tools. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is note down how much track pipe you're actually gonna to wanna to use. Now, track pipe have been really helpful because they've put one meter marker intervals on their pipe, which means you're gonna have minimal waste at the end of a job. Place the pipe into the cutter and make sure that you line up the blade with a corrugation. Revolve the cutter in one direction, tightening gradually as you go. Your rotation should be steady, smooth and consistent. And there you go, it's that easy to cut. Strip the jacket away from the CSST at about 25mm or 1 inch away from the end. Make sure that you cut away from yourself. This allows connections and terminations to be added later. Take care when handling the newly formed end as it may be sharp. Over time, uh, the cutting wheels on your CSST cutter may become blunt um, and that's why we offer new or spare cutting wheels on our website. Um, what I'll do is I'll also put a link at the, in the description below so you can find them there. And if you're interested in any of our CSST products, head over to pipestop.com now to find out a bit more. And you can also call our team who would love to help you. We're gonna put some helpful links and some further reading from Amiga Flex in the description below. So check that out, it's really, really useful stuff. And if you like the content you've seen today, consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.